Hi, this is Peter Angstad. I'm going to be your instructor for BA 385, uh, Principles of Finance. Uh, this is a 10-week course uh, taught entirely um, online, and I use two uh, methods. I use both the Moodle class website and then also my finance lab, and I'll explain to you what my finance lab is all about in just a few moments. Uh, a bit about myself, I'm a retired college president and I serve on several uh, regional boards of directors. Uh, I also um, teach classes for SOU. I teach this course as well as uh, several MBA courses. So if you're uh, gonna head off to get an MBA degree in the future, you'll probably see me again. Um, about um, the course now. Um, my finance lab is where all the, the course assignments, uh, the homework assignments, and also the tests will be located. Um, you can get free access for that for about five to ten days, but after that you have to have an access code. The access codes usually come with the textbooks that you, that you buy. Um, so please check wherever you're going to buy the textbook from, please check that it comes with an access code. I know um, on my finance lab you can buy um, a package uh, access code and an e-version of the book for about $99. Um, so pick out whatever format and, uh, that you want to use for the textbook, but make sure uh, you get an access code with that. And if you're going to use uh, whatever vendor you're, uh, is out there, um, just check to make sure the access code comes with it. Uh, fourth edition of uh, Raymond Brooks's book, uh, Principles of Finance, uh, is the one that we're using. Uh, now, once you get on my finance lab, and I have some directions in Moodle about how to access my finance lab, you'll see the uh, I posted the homework assignments. Uh, there's one homework assignment each week, um, and you get three attempts at that homework assignment. And then, uh, about every four to well, about every four weeks, um, there's going to be a test, um, uh, concluding with the final exam, which is just going to be on the last three chapters of the book. Uh, so that would be eight, nine, and ten. We're only going to do t the first 10 chapters of the book, and uh, the final exam will be available during finals week. But the first two exams are available um, whenever you want to take them, but make sure you uh, do the homework because that will help position you to be successful. And I do want you to be successful in this class. I, I want you to sh be able to show your proficiency. That's why I give you three attempts at each uh, homework assignment and also three attempts at each exam. So if you don't like the, the score you get the first time or if you had some problems and need to go back and uh, reinforce your knowledge in a certain area, you can take it again up to three times. Um, I also on um, Moodle each week will post a question um, that you can answer. Um, and earn um, one extra credit point. So at the end of the, the um, term, if you've answered all the questions, you can have 10 extra credit points added to your grade, which uh, many students find is, is very, very helpful. Again, I'm here um, to help you uh, become proficient in finance. Uh, finance is something that, uh, the principles of finance and the foundational concepts of finance are something I've used uh, my whole life, whether it's uh, determining uh, what kind of investment an organization should be making and um, what are the benefits to that investment, or whether it's just your own personal situation where you're determining, okay, should I take out a car loan um, and or should I invest in this uh, investment versus uh, some other investment. So. Please keep in mind, uh, finance, uh, you'll be using that for the rest of your life. And I found the people who are very proficient in financial uh, concepts and have some understanding are the people that really move ahead quickly in any organization. So uh, you're, you can add value to yourself, you can add value to your current organization, 
and you can add value to any future organization. So with that, uh, look at the Moodle site, our Moodle class website, and then also look at my finance uh, lab. And the first week is just sort of a discussion of what's finance all about. I do have some additional material in each, uh, each week for, for each um, uh, section of our Moodle site. I, I call this additional support material, and this week it's on um, the Federal Reserve. What's the Federal Reserve all about? Uh, very important concept to know if you're gonna be studying finance, but I will not ask you any questions um, on that material, it's just to help you gain some foundational knowledge. So keep that in mind, and if you choose not to, to look through the additional support material um, that I post each week, that's okay. Um, but uh, as I said, I do think it's worthwhile to get some background on some of these concepts. Okay, with that, uh, please let me know if you're having any problems. Uh, stay with it. It's really easy to forget about online classes. Each, each time I've taught this class, I've had some students who have said, oh, the class is going now, or I forgot all about that. And um, I don't want you to get into that situation. So please stay with it week by week. Before you know it, uh, we'll be through, and uh, you'll have some great results to look at. So get in touch with me if you have any questions or comments. Otherwise, I'll be working with you for the next 10 weeks. Take care.